All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm finally getting around to answering some of my most asked questions while at the same time making some tips videos. I've been making videos called How to Break Bad Habits. This is yet another video. Today, we're not talking about bad habits. We're talking about certain configurations. And uh, then past that, uh, in the next couple of days, there will be some videos on bunny hopping and some other things as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. If you're looking at me wondering who the heck I am, I am a 13-year Counter-Strike veteran. Um, this will be an 800 by 600 while I'm in game. So you'll notice there's some black bars on the side. Uh, that's just the resolution I play in. So so um, first off, I'm going to recommend a, a GUI. A GUI is what actually changes your um, the look of your game. I mean, it changes a lot of things, actually. But this one here is the ESCA GUI version 1.0. 2.0 is still yet to come out. But um, what this allows you to do is bind keys easily without having to... Um, uh, like know all the commands for everything so like you can see here to buy certain things which I don't have any key binds I just use B and then bind uh, and then then the numbers to buy things but you can here like bind this to you okay or whatever you want to bind it to and uh, that'll buy that for you now the main thing that I'm going to talk about here is getting used to these right here if I can find them here it is right here. So fast weapon switch is absolutely so incredibly important and awesome if you don't use it. Um, for example, my V button pulls out my grenade if I have one. My F button pulls out my flashbang and my caps lock pulls out my, uh, my smoke grenade. Um, C4 I don't need as hit five secondary weapon. I just... I already have out most times, so I just hit Q to switch back and forth, and knife is still three. So, um, the GUI, that's really all I use it for, to be completely honest. I don't change too much else. Um, all of my stuff here is still WSAD crouch. You will notice that I use jump as a mouse wheel down, and uh, we'll cover that in the bunny hopping video coming up pretty soon. My duck button is control or mouse wheel up for crouch hopping. Um, at land, you cannot use this, so um, actually, I don't know the rule on ESCA land, but most major tournaments you can't, so I just use control to tap. Um, I walk and everything else is pretty the same. Um, a lot of people do ask me what my mouse and everything is. Currently, I am using the Zoe EC1 at the lowest setting, which is 500 DPI, the red setting, um, which you can re replicate on a lot of mice. There's 500 DPI, and I use 2.75 sensitivity. It just doesn't show up right here. If you see a type in sensitivity, there it is, 2.75. Um, so along with that, uh, my keyboard is a Zoe, uh, I'm sorry, not Zoe, Black Widow. So it's a Razer Black Widow. And um, I just wanted to go over those quick settings so you you guys can take a look at that. Um, I will also upload my config. It will be down below in the comments section right above that there. Um, it will also be a link to download the ESCA GUI. If you're not already an ESCA member, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. You can play uh, pugs with a lot higher caliber player than what you play with in a pub server. If you play pub service, you're kind of like, hey, you know, I'm going to play some better people. It, there's, it's a different world, a very different world than what you're used to. So if you just come back to Counter-Strike, of course, come have some fun with us. Um, my name on there is Wizen Hunt. Feel free to add me as a friend on the site and we'll come pug with you. Just let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'm um, going to go on to make the bunny hopping video next. So we'll see you guys soon.